Hi, this is the step two or part two of Nichonomics summary. In addition to sort of answering the questions in, in the first one, we've got some work to do. We've got to work on our education so we can get fluent on how our service value equation, our service metrics, the consistency and, uh, and guarantees of what we're doing, and the specific steps, actions that reps do on a proactive basis, they all have got to be related back to not just, hey, I love you, but this is how we are lowering some or all the elements of total procurement costs. This is how we're helping to improve your uptime metrics, and we should measure those together if need be. This is how we're improving the satisfaction of the next step in the value chain, which in the case of contractors, for example, would be their customers, getting a job done right the first time on time and so forth. Um, all these things, Mr. Customer, will help you grow faster uh, because you're going to retain existing business and penetrate it further and get referrals and so forth. Um, we started to get into some of the uh, line item profit analytics uh, scripts or plays. Uh, we looked at uh, losing stock keeping units and talked a little bit about how we might fix them, but we'll, we'll take a deeper look in the next section. Um, for right now, just as sort of a as teaser, if you go to a hardware store and you want to buy an individual rubber washer you'll, or an individual screw or nut or bolt, you can go down an aisle where there are all these plastic cases and you open up the lids of the plastic cases and there are all these little spaces. It's like getting a, you know, penny candy out of barrels in old country stores. Uh, it's the same thing. You take one washer out and it costs you 49 cents or 99 cents and you think, golly, this is a lot of money for this little washer, but if, but you need it and it's uh, time is money and so forth. And uh, But if you ask the, the, the hardware uh, proprietor, what, what, what's this aisle all about? They say, oh, that's a, that's a separate precision supply chain solution. They wouldn't use that term. But Hillman Group is the company that pioneered the uh, how do how do you stock and sell one goofy little item on a profitable basis? Because if you involve human beings and paper and and and, and the way you buy your paint and other things from your hardware wholesale co-op, you, you lose your tail. You can't, you can't touch these things. It's, it just gets too expensive. Uh, in a similar way, if you go to plants, they've got a lot of machinery, and if the machinery breaks down for lack of a little you know, spark plug widget, AA battery, whatever, it can't run. Lawson Products went out and, and pioneered the concept of let us come out and audit what's going on here and create a special uh, storage system for all the little uh, expensive downtime parts and pieces you need and we'll come out and replenish it on a semi-annual or annual basis. Uh, so that th those are precision supply chain solutions for which a, a whole different kind of distribution creature popped up. Well, we're, we're going to create little variations of this within an account uh, in future case studies. Um, and then we'll do a number of case studies on turning lose-lose accounts into winners because this is a very difficult challenge for a lot of, uh, of distributors. We've always heretofore just been glad to get sales and margin dollars and margin percent, not realizing actually that we were losing a lot of money on our best customer. And to go out to our best customer, historically speaking, and say, gee, you know, we're really losing and we want you to change the way you do things. We're not used to telling customers that they need to change or suggesting that they don't know how to buy well. Uh, so uh, these things have to be handled diplomatically, but, uh, but they can. So we'll do some case studies and they'll give us a little bit of re repetitive confidence and rhythm about how to do that. So that's the end of uh, the summary steps. I've got a few more closing slides and we'll be finished with this section. Thank you.